All right, so straight into it, man. I didn't see the um, <clears throat> need for an intro here. Straight into the leg day, man. Me and Rose are anytime fitness. As you can see, Rose got some front squat action going on. She front squat 95 pounds, which is actually pretty impressive for somebody who's front squatting for the first time. She's going down parallel, coming up nice, but she's putting a little bit of tension on the bar, which is normal for new front squatters because they want to make sure that that bar doesn't fall down. What you'll see in the next clip is me showing her how I find my sweet spot and how I sit the um, bar on my front delts. Even if you don't have huge front delts, you can still front squat. It's going to be a little harder, but bar on your front delts, elbows up high, you should actually be able to step back and complete a rep without even placing your actual hands on the bar. Watch how I take the bar off the rack. All right, you should be able to step back and complete a rep just like this. And this lets you know that your form for the front squat is on point. So I explained it to her. She went right back in the rack. Got it again. This time, form is on point. No, um, no shaking and twisting. As you can see, she's going parallel. Coming right back up. Not putting a lot of tension on the bar. That's the main thing. Elbows are up high making sure that that bar remains in the pocket of her front delt and not in her neck. Like some people have it so close to the neck that they're doing reps and almost choking themselves. All right, for this exercise, we did um, six to 10 reps, four sets of six to 10. And what you will see is my set here. Um, as you can see, Rose is blocking the camera, but eventually she's gonna move um, all the way down, all the way up. I did 185, didn't really see a need to go up Higher than 185, we were pretty much training for volume versus training for weight. So uh, at this point, I was asking Rose how many reps I did. She said six, which I knew she was lying. But I think I did three or four more just to compensate. You understand what I'm saying? So after we finished this, we moved on to some goblet squat action. Man, uh, we started off, as you were sitting in the next scene, I had a 100-pound dumbbell, and she had a 50 we did four sets of 10 of these goblet squats. Once we got our goblet squats in good, we immediately moved on and started doing uh, stiff leg deadlifts as a superset. Not stiff leg deadlifts, sorry. Just deadlifts as a superset. You see here, I'm closer, focusing on the quad. Her stance is wider, focusing on the glutes. And we knocked out some touch and go reps. Here are the deadlifts that we did immediately following the um, goblet squats. And yes, I did more than three or four deadlifts, but Rose started late, so the scene kind of cut in halfway through my deadlift set. So we did those, we did three sets of 10 um, goblet squats and then 10 deadlifts. Um, what you'll see here is Rose doing a 65 pound PR, which by the time you see this video, she's already crushed this PR and did a um, 90 pound goblet squat for about and she did five or six reps. So here's her doing her 60 pound PR. As you can see, Chris walked in front of the scene, but she's still repping it out. Um, parallel, good form, still using wide stance to focus on all the glutes, squeezing at the top as you should be when you're doing any type, of, any type of squat movement. Here is my PR of 130 pound goblet squat. I personally think I could have did more goblet squats than this, but 130 pounds was the heaviest dumbbell that was at the gym at the time. Good news is the gym is being reconstructed and they're moving things around. They're gonna have a new location and the numbers are gonna go up a little bit higher. So I'll be able to test my PR strength again. The next exercise that we did are superset. It's leg extensions, supersetted with weighted walking lunges. We did 10 leg extensions, immediately followed by 10 weighted walking lunges. Now, hearing this exercise makes you think, oh, maybe I'll just go knock this out 10 and 10 too easy, but doing this exercise is completely different. I think this was like our um, second set, we did four sets of this, so I think this was like our second set, and our legs were spent. Quads were spent, hamstrings were burning a little bit, so as you can see, Rose is trying to muscle out these last three steps. I'm telling you, that's super set is intense. Try it, and let me know what you think. We move complete, we move straight on, all right, to leg presses. We did 15 reps, five close, five normal and five wide. You see here, Rose did five close and then five wide. And then she's gonna ask me, 
did I forget something? And then she's gonna go back and do the five normal, which is okay. Um, we use moderate weight, didn't go crazy on the weight. Um, she did three plates, as you can see. I think I did five plates, and that was it, man. We did calves. Um, Rose showed me this new hamstring exercise that almost killed me. But that was pretty much it for the leg workout, man. Um, on video, it doesn't seem like much. Doing it in real person, that's a lot of value for a leg day, and it's gonna be fucking intense, and it's gonna break you off. So if you dare, try this leg workout. Come back, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and y'all stay tuned for the next video.